What's going on, friends? All my YouTube friends, all my Patreon friends. How we all doing? My hooligans tonight. Got a little treat. Uh, the last one that I did did not want to go on to YouTube for whatever YouTube reasons. Um, so my friend Havard on Patreon sent me a... Um, this is Bruno Mars, September 16th, 2018, Little Caesars Arena, Detroit. Um, and I wanted to watch my i was i started my little journey from the two bruno mars concerts i just went to um with my friend betty and uh and danielle and uh sarah and an amazing crowd amazing crew everyone um but uh the most I, I was picking my top three most surprising songs of the night so not my favorite songs but like the ones i went into weren't really on my radar and i was like blown away by blown away by right so my number one my number one was finesse and it looks like they opened this concert with finesse so hopefully youtube we can watch this one together if not patreon we're gonna keep trying together as well um but hey i don't mind i'll watch i'll watch these all day long all day long so uh if this is your, your first time stopping by don't forget to like and subscribe you can hit that the notification button as well um you can check me out on patreon as well if you like that the links in the description box there's a bunch of stuff on there i think we're at like a hundred and either 113 or 133 videos now can't remember can't remember Patreon exclusives, you know. Uh, let's check this out. Let's check this out. Um, yeah, that was it. Let's go. Cool intro, real cool intro. I wonder if he's playing that. I wonder if he's playing that on a vocoder right now. So, like, uh, there's two ways you can make that kind of sound, right? So, one is a vocoder where you have a microphone that goes into the keyboard, and then the keyboard. Uh, excuse me, um, whatever you play and whatever you say into the microphone, it comes out in the tones that you play instead of like piano or synth sounds. The other one is you have like a, a what's called a talk box and you have a speaker that interrupts your chain from uh, like say a guitar head um, to a cabinet, a guitar cabinet. So then you have this little tiny speaker with a tube that goes into your mouth and then the things that you say come out as the things you play in your guitar through your vocal mic. So it could be one or the other. I think it's probably a vocoder in this case because it's just, it's cleaner, it's easier, it's uh, like less noise, much more consistent, easier to control, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Just like the intro is just like everything everything is so rehearsed because like i saw them two nights back to back and like both both of those like chants or like those hype parts or whatever were the same almost word for word night for night but it's like what's dope about that man is the appreciation for the craft and it lines up so well he quits like his his like hype kind of speech thing and it goes into the beat like and then they start dancing their way to the front it's just and then just like the brotherhood man on the stage it just it was just i was just shook man watching it let's go let's watch this cool. God, he sounds good. Come on, man. Bruno just like, he shows no sign of weakness. Like, in my opinion, there should be a few notes that should sound like he's fighting for them a little bit more, trying for them a little bit more. And he just sounds so casual. It's just wild. It's great to see Jamario and Fred playing, like, and dancing, playing back and forth, man. It's so good to see. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> it's dope though. It's, it's like because like I'm I'm daydreaming about the the roller coaster, right? So where they start the song off, it's all hype, it's all energy. They're dancing and it ch- kills like it chills right out, right? And then to create that kind of energy again, it's like you almost have to do like a dead stop, like mad vocals, a little bit of keys, and then that big like the two shots and back into the beat because like you have to find creative ways to make the energy stay, right? And it's just like what a great way of handling this. Man, so smooth, man. Bruno's so smooth. But like, so there's a couple things that are going on that are kind of interesting. So like normally during like lead sections, like say like if, a, if one of the horn instruments doing solos or like the guitar players doing a solo or something, um, you'll you'll dim the wash lights so the like lights that are like facing you so that the audience can see you, you dim that from the band and it kind of separates you a little further. And then if you highlight one or two people, they kind of stand out a little brighter because you don't have just wash covering the stage, right? And they're doing, they're playing a lot of that in this kind of scene where Bruno's dancing. They're giving him like, a reverse silhouette so like more bright lights behind him coming forward and it's really cool man it's a really cool visual effect and it just it makes it that much like more spectacular when bruno steps up to the microphone and now you can see him again he's all lit up right and like you'll see that in lots of endings of songs the wash lights go out and then the backlighting go out and it's just it's just dramatic right it's just charismatic lighting that's all it's just it's, it's really neat to see it just it, it adds so much like you know like next time you're watching live performance let me know if you see it if you see it See how dark it is on him right now? Look at Jamario and Fred. Look at him. See them. Now they're all lit up, right? So you can see like all the colors in his shirt. You can see Jamario again. They're starting to fill everyone up. So like if, if there's spotlights, they go out, etc., etc. Right, right, right. You know what I'm talking about. If you like this stuff, check me out on Patreon. I'm telling you. Nice. See, like this whole section, this whole section here just kills this for me, man. Like it was so neat to see just how like tight they were. It looked like they were having fun, like genuinely having fun. They all moved to the one side of the crowd. The crowd's interacting with them, man. Just like the energy it must just be like a like an amazing, incredible life they live. I hope. I hope, because it was amazing to see. So, so like I was having a conversation or like I've had multiple, multiple conversations about tracks and triggers and stuff like that. And I don't know if it's a track. I don't know if it's a trigger, but they're for sure playing to a metronome. They had someone at their front of house, like in the, in the mixing booth that had like, I think it's in a Kai. It was like a three by three, like, like basically like a MIDI controller and it could have done like the different samples and stuff, but that scream there, like nobody screams. Like it, it, it is what it is, whether it's a trigger or a track. And it's just, it, it adds to the, it adds to the performance. It adds to the party. It adds to how like much fun they're having and you don't need someone to scream it. You just, you just need a track for it. That's all. Like it's, if, if it wasn't there, it wouldn't matter. And that's kind of the magic of like Bruno's band and the hooligans, but tracks, it just, it, it shows a level of professionalism in my opinion, because you have to stay perfect on time to like your rendition that you've wrote up for the song if you add a beat if you miss a beat if you fall off even like parts of percentages of beats it all falls apart right like it's it's such a level of professionalism but look at nobody screams and there's a scream one way or another it happened look at this all of them man Just like one of the hardest working bands in the world, man. Come on. Now. <laughs> See, 
Same thing with that. Like you don't have someone going, got it going on, got it, got it going on, got it, got it, got it, got it. Like it's it's it's, it's pre triggered. That's all. That's all. That's all I'm saying. If it wasn't there, it wouldn't even matter that much. The shots are cool, right? Like that's that's the important thing. It's like, can you survive with or without the track? And if you can, perfect. If you can't, maybe reconsider, you know? No wash lights either. Fantastic. Fantastic. See, and then like dead stop, all the lights go out, the blackout. Come on, man. Come on, man. Lights are neat. Light the whole the whole performance, everything is dialed in, everything is perfect. Unbelievable. And like I say, like just like the party factor, the fun, the jam, the all the drum fills that Eric gets to add in, like everything. I don't know what it was. All a big combination of that, a big stew of that. It just made it for sure, hands down, the most surprising song of the night. For me. Both nights, both nights in a row. And I was half expecting it to be one or the other. Uh, each night right like chunky both nights for sure was number two number three i could probably argue back and forward because like anyway it's a whole thing um but number one was definitely finesse so thank you my friends my hooligans all my patreon friends who tossed me the links hang out on the lives everyone that caught it i'll get uh the blocked parts removed here soon we'll get it back up love everyone see everyone again soon <laughs>